I want us to think about a few verses from Romans chapter 3. And many of these things are very much related to what Brother Jeremy ministered to us tonight. Romans 3, 26. This section of Romans chapter 3 from uh, probably verse 19, 19 through 26 is one of the, one of the foundation stones of the gospel. If, if, the, if these verses are, are outside of your working understanding, then you, 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 you're a babe, because this is, at the, this is at the bedrock foundation, the condition that God is addressing in salvation and what God needed to address it. That, that's what's in this text. So... Romans 3.26, he says, To declare, I say, at this time, his righteousness, that he might be just and the justifier of him which believeth in Jesus. Now, I want to I set this in a, in a greater context. Jesus does not make God righteous. God was righteous. He is righteous. He always has been righteous. He always will be righteous. Jesus hasn't changed God. In in the places of eternity, there never has been a question of whether or not God is righteous. And the justice of God is is like a different angle at the same attribute. It says that he, to declare his righteousness, that he might be just. This doesn't suggest that in, until Jesus came that God had done anything unjust. Amen. That he might be just, Jesus wasn't fixing something that God had, had done in the past. That's not what this text is, that he might be just. In it, there has, there's never been any, any confrontation against the righteousness and justice of God. There's never been any question. There's never been any any stain or blotch against the righteousness and justice of God. In fact, the the creatures in his presence uh, say day and night, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. So this is is well known. In fact, uh, that's the place where there is no question. Only in earthly places are, 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 are... there are, there are creatures unaware of the righteous righteousness and justice of God. So when Paul says to declare at this time his righteousness, doesn't mean that the, that the righteousness of God was completely hid till Jesus came. Or to uh, that he might be just doesn't mean that he changed his ways when Jesus came. And and I know those uh, none of you were were questioning that. But Paul posed questions, you know, and he said, now does this mean, or when was it imputed to him? He posed questions in order to, uh, so, so that, that's why I, I did that. A- another way of, of uh, viewing this is that God didn't need Jesus to be righteous in himself. God didn't need Jesus to come to be just, to remain just, because of some um, circumstance that had, had, uh, had, intervened in his workings that's not that's not what this is all about but now here here's where the gospel comes comes into play here with regards to god justifying sinners now now god needs jesus you see so the need the what jesus what jesus did was for god in justifying not for God himself to be just. What Jesus did for God was for God to make men righteous, to declare his righteousness in imputing his righteousness, but not for God himself to be righteous. So when it comes to God justifying, there is a, a innumerable gallery of spectators. The angels long to look into these things. 
See, there is a, here's a short digression. There, when you read this section of Romans chapter 3, look for the legal aspects of, of salvation because there are some legal ramifications to salvation. And here's what I mean by this. God being righteous and just, his, his own, he's constrained by his own righteousness to save men righteously. He can't, he can't do it just any which way because he's righteous, because he's just. And so Jesus, God needed Jesus to be a propitiation for sins. He set him forth to be a propitiation for our sins that he might be just in justifying. That he might, to declare his, think about it this way, to declare his righteousness in making men righteous. So God's act of making sinners righteous is itself a righteous act because God did it. Now, and so God doesn't need Jesus to be righteous himself, but he does need Jesus when it comes to making sinners righteous. That's where God needs Jesus. To, he's, God set him forth. Remember, Jesus said, I come to do thy will, yes, O oh God. Uh -huh. God gave Jesus a work to do. God gave Jesus a commandment to fulfill, uh -huh. and this is it. Amen. So to declare his righteousness, and, and I love, <laughs> you, you, got, you all know this about me, that I, I, I love the, the technicalities the, uh -huh. and the, the precision of salvation yeah. in that God, he's declaring to this gallery of spectators, and they're celestial spectators. Yeah. And so it's not like, Excuse my language, but it's not like a bunch of dummies watching what God's doing. These are care, these are are uh, personalities that are familiar with God, and so when they they know God's righteous, they know God's just, and so when they look, they're seeing God do something that He hadn't done before. He's taking sinners unlike Himself and making them righteous, but they know they know through this whole process that God's going to do it righteously, because God's righteous. Now, there's other complicating, um, maybe I shouldn't say, comp yeah, they, there's other complicating elements to this too, because the, one, the ungodly that he is justifying have an, has an enemy. Mm -hmm. And that enemy, of course, was once in his presence. Mm -hmm. And so when all is said and done, when all the investigations are made, he's the accuser. So when all of the evidence has been examined, then these ungodly, whom God has said, you're forgiven, mm -hmm. this, this, for, this process of forgiveness, this salvation, has to be so thorough, so righteous, right. and so just right. that even the accuser of the brethren will have to shut his mouth. Amen. That he might be just and the justifier. So he's going to righteously make men righteous. Yeah. He's going to, with justice, he's going to justify. So God's extending himself, yeah. his own person and his own character in a way in salvation that he's never done before. Yeah. And he had to have Jesus to do it. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I've used all my notes without looking at them. <laughs> so the, the, uh, the heavenly hosts, they will see the justice of God Men, the, the ones who, the, the redeemed will see the justice of God mm -hmm. and the wicked one himself mm -hmm. yeah. and all, all uh, of his cohorts mm -hmm. will see the justice of God mm -hmm. in, in the end. And Jesus enabled God to do this. Mm -hmm. He set him forth as a propitiation for our sins. So this is what a, it, it's, so, it's so imperative to see, to see the end. This is why God's told us these things, to see the end from the beginning. And here's why it's so critical, because in our working out our own salvation with fear and trembling, we know within ourselves that we were the ones who sinned. Mm -hmm. yeah. And don't think for a minute that the wicked one won't regularly and shrewdly remind you of it. Mm -hmm. you, know this, you know this by experience. So how... How important is it in working out your own salvation with fear and trembling when the accuser of their brethren reminds something? And he doesn't have to, he, let me speak for myself, he doesn't have to lie to me to bring up a sin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He can remind me of something I did. Mm -hmm. yeah. But 
God set forth Jesus to be a propitiation yeah. through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness that he might be just mm -hmm. and the justifier of him which believeth in Jesus. Mm -hmm. And I believe. Yeah. He's given to me to believe. Mm -hmm. Amen. And God is just in justifying me on that basis. Amen. Let's pray. Amen. Father in heaven, we thank you for this uh, word that you've given to us. And we pray that you would help us now at this table to meditate and to ponder and to grow in our understanding uh, of this so great salvation that you have worked with your own right arm and through Christ Jesus, in whose name we pray, amen.